what is going on you guys welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing something a little bit different so this corvette i picked up two weeks ago it's the 2023 c8 with the 3lt package and z51 i honestly love this car every second every time i drive it it's just a joy i love it so much that i had to right off the bat before even picking up the car purchase a lot of stuff like i don't even have the car and i'm already buying stuff so what did i buy let's go over real quick so i bought the inventory uh carbon fiber intake the one that comes with a clear cover right here which i need to cut the carpet and whatnot it's actually right here in the box i got the pure performance uh, titanium exhaust this is with the valves i did not want the exhaust to always be open to always be loud i want to close it and open it i got the paragon sequential turn signals that go in the front it replaces the trim the lower portion trim so this is the light pretty cool i don't know how it's going to be on 2024 because they said it's 2020 plus or 2020 to 23 maybe 24 they changed the plugs i'm not sure but you basically plug into the factory wiring you don't got to do no funny splice i also bought the verus carbon fiber diffuser which is functional uh, gives me about 1800 to, to 900 uh, on the downforce and about 850 ish to 900 on the drag so it's it's something i will feel it's it's not just for looks it's actually functional pretty penny but it's well worth it and that's one reason why i also did not want to do the z06 uh exhaust conversion because if the z06 is in the middle and i gotta use this in the middle and i'd rather have this as a functional thing for high speeds than having a center exhaust you know, you know what i'm saying so I just kept the Stingray looking on the sides. Anyways, Z06, uh, also carbon fiber spoiler, which is gonna be going on, and it's it's gonna look sick. Like, all of the stuff that I bought, like one, two, three, four, off Paragon. Pure Performance was a different website. That's Pure Performance website. Um, so yeah, I don't wanna go with the uh, Paragon titanium exhaust because it's not with valves. And I want my stuff to be closing, open, closing, open whenever I want to. And it's plug and play, by the way forgot to mention that so anyways let's begin alrighty out with the intake which I barely removed there's so much clips on the back side there's one two these back ones are the hardest three and then four you got to get these star shaped looking ones which is right here and uh, once you get it out there's a bunch of clips in the back there's this thing which is also sitting like this behind so anyways, you get the intake out, this is what you're gonna be seeing. Now I'm basically gonna remove the exhaust and then the cats, uh, because with the Pure Performance, they did include the 200 cell uh, HIFO cat, which I will be throwing the code. So two things you need to do. Uh, hopefully this works, but uh, we'll see. It's a M18 by 1.5. I just looked it up, what was the thread size for the spark, uh, not the spark plugs, the uh, sensors. And this is what Pulled up, so I went out to AutoZone and bought this for like 10 bucks. Hopefully it works. If not, I'm gonna have to get the legit ones that everybody uses. And then you do need a socket to remove the sensors. So other than that, it's gonna be fun. So remove the intake. Now we're gonna remove the exhaust. And then after I get all of that stuff installed, I'm gonna show you guys. And then the wing is the last part and then the diffuser. And that's it. We got the whole rear end buttoned up to how I imagined it to be. So let's get to it. Alrighty, so here's the uh, Pure Performance Titanium Exhaust with these parts, which is what closes and opens for loud or quiet. I mean, it's still gonna be louder than OEM, but let me show you guys the OEM real quick. Here's the OEM. So mine only has, I believe on this side, one, two, with the titanium. OEM, Z51 package, I believe this is a Z51 package. I'm not really great with Corvettes, but it comes with four. So one, two, three, four. Uh, the most annoying part about taking off this exhaust, if you were to ask me, is this bolt right here on the bottom. So other than that, it's pretty smooth. I was able to take off these two bolts pretty easy. They got the whole way around assembled, finished really late at night. And uh, there you go, Z06 spoiler carbon fiber these holes are exposed but they do sell i've heard these these covers these white clip covers of some sort that patch these holes the diffuser looks absolutely insane aggressive with the um, uh, exposed 
because I removed the grill. Titanium exhaust. Looks crazy, you guys. The whole rerun is finished. I will start it up for you guys. In the meantime, I'm on a crunch time right now. In the meantime, I'm doing uh, the front uh, side right now. Now I'm removing the bumper uh, and then swapping out this trim for the uh, one with the light. Pretty easy, plug and play. The harness plugs into the existing uh, headlight uh, harness, so it just works all together simultaneously. So this lights up, uh, and then on the bottom it's gonna light up. Speaking of the headlight, I also got a mod which I do have to install. I almost forgot. It's like a amber mod. So instead of it being white, it's gonna be amber, and then this part is gonna be white. I mean, it's gonna look crazy. And then lastly, the mesh grill not to beat up the uh, what is it called the radiator because right now it's exposed, and uh, a lot of rocks can just annihilate those radiators on both sides so i recommend every c8 owner does this buy a mesh grill cover it up you don't got to go through paragon i went through amazon just found the mesh grill measured it and i'm just gonna zip tie it instead of span spanning through paragon like what is it 150 169 for the mesh grills just for the front two radiators i spent like 30 bucks all right so here are the mods that i will be installing into the front bumper this is the uh bottom for the fog light drl whatever you guys want to call it <clears throat> quality is unbelievable the inside of the like the lens just the quality overall damn this is painted also same color basically plug and play with all the clips and everything um this as well they give you these harnesses so basically here you got this part which connects into here and then this connects into the harness and i believe the headlight connects into here and it kind of just joins together pretty cool out with the old basically you got these like t15 screws i think they are t15 i'm not sure um so yeah old one new one reverse procedure put it back in that's it all righty so uh installed everything um i did end up tinting these a little bit more with uh let me show you guys something by this company evolve this is their darkest tint that they um, offer it's mainly used for like tail lights but uh i have full scented on these um drls by Par uh, paragon and uh, it looks it looks really nice uh, it blends in with the black over here plus i'm going to be getting carbon fiber lip in the front and uh the sides and uh, yeah let me show you guys how it looks like now and there you guys have it looks amazing I love the yellow. I'm thinking of matte black wrapping the car, and I think that will look, just look crazy. So um, it is not flickering for me. It's just the way the camera is picking up the DRLs. That's it. Um, so yeah, everything's everything's working fine with them. But that's how they look like tinted right now. They look amazing. So there you go. Looks crazy. So yeah, let me show you guys now with the rear end. Everything's installed. Um, and then I'm going to let you guys hear the exhaust. Uh, pure performance, full titanium exhaust with the um, active valves. MPP has been deleted with a uh, Paragon MPP uh, chip that I have inserted, which I do actually want to talk about because you don't, in, you, you don't just insert it and think the code is going to go away. Maybe for some it did and will but for me it hasn't so i had to go through another step which i will be covering so yeah let's get to that so there's the inventory cold air intake um i did drive the car for about a week already it does whistle pretty cool future anyways this is the spoiler the z07 package well z06 spoiler tinted these out with that same tint that i did on the front drls so right here right here and i believe right here somewhere and it looks much, much meaner. This is gonna be cold start. I did have to close the trunk. I kinda of gave future where you gotta close the trunk to do the remote start, but whatever, let you guys hear it right now. Cold start with open, uh, close valves. So that's close valves. open valves. All I did was just press the Z, the Z button on the steering wheel. This is uh, open. Sounds good. Sounds really good. Um, 
once I rev it, obviously, it sounds even crazier. But uh, nothing too crazy. As far as the drone is concerned, it's actually really, really convenient. I don't want nothing too loud. And these are just perfect, you know? All right, now let's get to the NPP. And um, the fact that it was st still throwing the cold for me for the for the valves, I think I needed to relearn those. And um, you don't just plug and play. Like even if you move the plate a slight bit, it will keep the coat on. Doesn't matter if your valves are turning on and off, your code will still be displayed. Anyways, I had to relearn it and the way I did it was I came across this video on YouTube and he was talking about owning one of these things. Pretty cool. Uh, I got off uh, Amazon for like 130 And for those that are interested, it's called the uh, Creator Elite. That should fix your problem. Basically, just relearn the valves. You hear them click on and off. There's a YouTube video on this stuff. Anyways, now what I'm going to be doing for the next video so you guys can stay tuned for that. Show you guys a little bit is this right here. This is the PTR uh, carbon fiber manifold. And I got a 100 millimeter throttle body. Should give you guys an idea, the C701 is 95 millimeter. This thing is 100. So that's gonna be a fun little video for you guys. So yes, like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.